15th kill now. Nygaard almost got that one. And serving will be Zeslansky. Good serve receive. Zeslansky going way, way back. Oh, and Nygaard, oh, he hit it out. So just wide, Long Beach has tied it up at four. Boy, that's just coming into the train station and saying, staying on the same track, just bombing straight ahead. Long Beach has withstood the attempt by UCLA as we were talking yeah. about to take command. UCLA's made some errors. Not a great set there. Off has it up. Will they set him again? No. Set by Chris. And Chris pumps it through. Long Beach has taken the lead now. 5-4 Beach. Long Beach State last year, 7 and 12 in the Pacific Division, a record of 13 and 15. It's amazing the turnaround Long Beach has had this year, and you got to credit Ray Rattel with developing young players and attracting Tom Hoff. Well, and Steve Walker coming in and being kind of a surprise, able to come in and, and take control. And, and of course, you get a great player like Hoff, able to lead the way for you, a dominant player that can really turn things around. And you got to think about Gabby Amar as well, yes. who's going to redshirt. Walker, front set, yes, to Hoff. Okay, it's going to be very hard for anybody to get Steve Walker out of this lineup, a junior transfer that we've discussed, and you got to figure he wants to stay in that position next year when this entire starting lineup comes back for Long Beach State. Good pass, UCLA, X Long Beach pokes it over. Here goes Sullivan. Take that with your hands. And not that time. Didn't get a good swing. UCLA. Eric Sullivan has served. Sullivan has it for the Bruins. Has a very good float serve. With, oh, no. Okay, they're wiping up the floor on the other side. So Sullivan, you have to be very careful because once the sport court gets wet, as does any volleyball floor, it is a slip and Dangerous. slide area. Back down. Very nice. Hoff getting a kill. Hoff now with kill number 17. This is game three. Long Beach State won game one. UCLA game two. The finals of the UCLA Collegiate Classic. Cal State Northridge has already taken third place. USC Trojans in four. Nygaard. Nygaard working on Zaslinski in the back line. UCLA is passing the ball very well. Just their ability to score points is not there. Not serving as aggressively as you might like if you're UCLA and not blocking balls. One side to Chris, and he turns one out of bounds. Really the story of college volleyball is that every team has a good offense and can pound, but there are very few great blocking teams, very few good defensive teams Terrific as well. You have to have good balance. 5-5, five, five, game three. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, live for Paul. Out of the back line, Hoff blocks, goes and gets it. Left side, Chris. How does he hit hard? That's a good swing on the outside against a block that was together. Spira and Neapoli were right there on the outside, and he found a way to get by them or through them. Once again, the Long Beach State coach telling uh, Jeffrey Chris, we don't have any money, you won't play, don't come out here. And he did anyway. He made it mad. He got out there. Spira puts it down. You know, when players want to transfer, you have to kind of be very careful as a coach. You don't want to encourage them too much because you don't want to be depicted as stealing players. But if someone wants to come to your school, you want to encourage them a little. Nygaard pokes it up. Much improved on defense. Going to Wong. And Wong puts it away. Nice shot. And Wong just kind of cuffed that one over the block. Really not uh, getting into the long glide path approach that we've known to uh, love. Good defense, of course, by UCLA getting it started. Again, Jeff Nygaard at 6'8", getting on the floor. 6'5", Bruins. Hawk. Oh, and he cranks it. Tom Hawk. Former Buckeye with some thunder, side out, Long Beach State. Long Beach State uh, improving just at the right time in the season. And Holly comes one through. And the Bruins will have it. Good 
Long to stay in the jump serve here. UCLA getting a good soft block. Over to Neapoli. Hey. And he drives it out of bounds. Tough chance there. That's a tough set to hit. Traveling a long way, Neapoli hitting it out of the back court going across his body. Maybe yeah. a better choice going high left side to sell. Al Skates on the right. Ryan Rofer, former player, number one assistant for UCLA on the left. Nygaard again. Jeff Nygaard deep to the corner to the side out. 20 kills for Jeff Nygaard. Could he set a new UCLA school record tonight? Maybe. We're in the midst of game three. The UCLA school record once again owned by Nygaard at 37. Off, rejected. That's the key to the match right there. I mean, stop both, off. Well, stop just for or UCLA. To Nygaard. For UCLA to block the ball. I mean, if you're the UCLA Bruins, you rely on your ability to score points and block in at the net. They've not served particularly well, and they haven't blocked well at all. Big Stein Metzger got a nice stuff there. We'll take time out. Game three, UCLA up by two. Man for UCLA. Been a good volleyball match. Long Beach State winning game one. UCLA game two. Bruins leading here in game three. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, live men's collegiate volleyball on Prime Sports. The Bruins are in white. Long Beach in black. Very, very competitive. Long Beach siding out. Took it to UCLA early. Bruins came out very flat after beating Long Beach in the first meeting. And Metzger goes off the top of Hawk. And Metzger really no place else to go. The dig by UCLA traveling over the top of the tape. Metzger had to throw it off Hoff. And Hoff not moving his hands, not strong and ready. Should put that back on Metzger. Eight to five. Bruins up by three now. Good pass there. Ooh, and Nygaard shows Gabby Amar the stuff block. It's just a great read. Watch the one-on-one. -on -one. You see Nygaard was committing. He yeah. looked at the setter, says, okay, he's going quick to my guy. Now, let me ask you a question. Is he told to do that? You think he's going no, on his own? I think that's just a good read by Okay. Okay. Bruins on a 4-0 run, and a substitution is coming in. Wow. Ryan Mariano, 6'4 freshman from El Toro, California. He has 21 aces, and he's coming in with a jumper. Got a good jumper. See how he does here. Can he get it in off the bench? And I've got a Kevin Wong-like takeoff. Metzger, deep, deep, deep. Yes! The long sky hook over the top of the defense. And again, uh, just out of necessity. Certainly having to throw the ball over, but uh, great location. Metzger, serving. UCLA starting to get a little more confidence in the serving game. Put away in the middle by Good Gabby put away. Amar. Gabby Amar. And so Amar will serve. Play. Long Beach read it. The beach was there and the ball hit out of bounds. Marvin Hall saying no touch. 9-6 now. Amar and Amar will serve it to Wong. Conventional wisdom is to serve Wong as much as you can. Sullivan stands right in the middle of the court. Sometimes it's hard to get it to Wong. Perfect Good pass there. And Neapoli puts it away. Put away pass work by Paul, Paul Neapoli. He's just a sophomore from Yorba Linda, California. He has 22 kills, according to our excellent stat man with the crooked fingers, Mike Sondheimer. The furnace working hard tonight. And that's off Wong. Are you surprised that Wong is not a better blocker than he is? They had high he hopes for him for being a terminator on the line. Yeah, he should be a better blocker. He's just not dynamic on the outside, not real strong with his hands, and he and Al Skates have been sharing looks about his technique. And he's not, he just is not, he's six foot seven, jumps pretty well. He gets he should, over the net like a blanket. Yeah, but he just is not moving his hands into the angle, and when he does reach, he reaches down the net, not into the angle. Nine, Bottom six. line, he should be a better block. Okay. Set left. Oh, it's Farrar. He's not known for his blocking, and when he gets one, he loves it. Number 14 in white. This is called staying over the net when you drop and take the angle. Spiraw fills the seam, and of course it helps to be blocking against Neapoli on the outside. 10-6 our score. X-Flag breaks with Thunder, and Spiraw might have caught his ankle. Walking a little gingerly. Christ gets his 15th kill. He's second on the team to Hoff's 19. Christ will serve. 
Or Don Sean Dell, the coach for Ball State, knows how good Chris has become. He knows. Back set, Neapoli turns it down the line. And so Neapoli will serve. Volleyball, track, basketball, and football at Esperanza High School. You know he's a six foot seven inch high jumper as a track athlete. A tremendous athletic ability. Trigonometry is his favorite class at UCLA. Wow. <laughs> What's that? It was mine too, though. I guess I guess that's not so unusual. <laughs> Our producer said, uh, said that you can't even spell trigonometry. You know what he said. <laughs> I tell you, if you don't pass algebra and geometry, you never even get to trig, right? Right. So I think that's where I stood. Ten to six, UCLA in game three. Walker with the dish to Amar. Okay, we've talked an awful lot about Tom Hoff and Jeff Nygaard and Paul Neapoli, but uh, Gabby Amar, at only just turned 18 years of age, is going to be very good. Remember that name. A little off speed, UCLA touched the net, and just when you think UCLA is going to blow Long Beach out. Just like you blew the whistle that their ball was out of play. And they're complaining that it was a well, Ken Premature Taylor whistle. blew the whistle and called the net. You're saying he hit the net. Yeah, Taylor's saying I called the net. But who netted? Who netted here? Not Stein Metzger. Nobody's not Spira. And then the ball is out of bounds in any case. But the whistle did blow early. Going to be a point for Long Beach as Ray Rattel checks it out. His team trailing by three. Going to get two. Nice play by Stein next year. Done that, done that a couple of times in his counterpart. Steve Walker's done exactly the same. Yeah, if you're a blocker, you're just thirsting for this play. You know, you want to jam it. Stein works him a bit. Good play by Metzger. 10-7. Walker sets left. And Hall gets a Point UCLA. Okay, Ray looks like he's in pain, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he, like coach, he used to coach you, didn't he? He's never gotten over he it. He has had that look on his face for 20 years. <laughs> we used to call him, when he when he coached us, Dr. Gloom. I guess on Long Beach, they call him Dr. Doom. Dr. 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 Doom. Yeah, he's an excellent coach, though, and... Uh, very uh, intense is to coin a phrase. Well, he's just trying to balance the scale. Yeah, no, he is, he is. He's well, no doubt about it. He's been national coach of the year. He's yeah. won a national championship. There's Walker, the setter for Long Beach. Actually, Forrest Cheney was uh, supposed to be the normal setter, but he broke his thumb in preseason. So Walker got his chance. Now Cheney hasn't been able to get back in line. Deep poly off nice high. Second. Getting high and hard. And Eric Sullivan just setting the ball in the neighborhood. When you're blocking right side and your setter plays the ball defensively, you got to become the setter on the court. Accurate to the outside. 12-7. That's good. Tucking it around. Another big play for UCLA, the ace. And Long Beach has to call timeout. We're tied at one game apiece, but UCLA winning big here in game three. For serve at 7 p.m. Paul Sunderland back live at Pauley Pavilion. UCLA leading 13 to 7. Just a moment ago, Stein Metzger with some heat on his jumper. Maybe UCLA still trying to find what sort of serving personality it wants to have. Has been conservative at the beginning of this match, relying on its blocking and now getting more conservative, more aggressive, I should say, as they take command. UCLA only three aces. That's a small number for them. Been pathetic the way, serving by both yeah, teams. Absolutely. Don't you think? 15 errors, three aces. Lots of lollipops, not many errors, lots of. Not many uh, aces, I should say. Hoff gets it down, and Long Beach will have it. Tom Hoff now has 20 kills. So here's Gabby Amar. You look around at, at the international level, the great teams in the world today hit, block, and jump serve, all of them. Brazil, Italy, teams like that, of course, oh, the United yeah, States yeah, as well. Yeah. Double contact called by Ken Taylor on Stein Metzger. Looks just like a crummy set, as you would say, Paul. Gets a point. 13 to 8. Crummy set. It's yeah, out yeah. of bounds. Stein is having trouble with his location. Inconsistent. Yeah. That one died low and was much too close to the net. Al Skate wants to take a timeout when you give up a couple in a row. His team uh, was out comfortably before Ray Rattel, uh, his counterpart, head coach for Long Beach State, took the timeout. 
So UCLA two points away from winning game three. Of course, Al Skates uh, hired back in 1963. He was hired by then UCLA AD Wilbur Johns. Big selling point for Al Skates as he went in for his interview. John said, well, what kind of experience do you have, Al? And he said, well, I've been a player on the team, and I want to tell you one thing up front. I can't accept the salary if you hire me <laughs> because I want to stay an amateur to right. try out for the 1964 Olympic teams, uh, Olympic team. And uh, Wilbur Johns jumped out of his chair and said, you're hired, son. <laughs> You've got the job. And Al Skates has been chair. here ever since. Has produced great athletes here at UCLA through the years. The list is so long of players who've been successful on the beach, on international teams, and of course in Olympics, Olympic Games. Three undefeated teams at UCLA, of course, 1979, when the Bruins uh, beat USC. That was a Steve Sammons, uh, Joe Micah show. Karch Karai, a freshman, Sinjin Smith, the most valuable player. Then the 1982 undefeated squad, led by Karch Karai, Dave Saunders, and that group. And in 1984, the 38-0 squad reached Sunahara, Doug Partee, Dave Saunders, Wally Martin, et cetera. When you keep naming them, Roger Clark, Dave Saunders, Saunders yeah, Steve Sammons, Doug game. Partee, Coach Kirai, Ricky Ludy. Good block there by Hoff, and suddenly it's 13 to 10. So UCLA, Marvel, boy, you think UCLA should just dominate. But uh, then you have to realize that other teams have gotten very good this year. It's not always a three-game sweep. The Long Beach is proving that it can play with any team in the nation. Well, there are two things that UCLA has not done up to its potential tonight are play great defense. That is established by its block. They have not blocked at all well, and I'm sure that's something Al Skate's going to talk to them about between now and then. The tournament coming up that should well qualify them for the final four. Let's check, just check out team blocks. Ten team blocks for UCLA, 14 for Long Beach State. Once and again, if you were going to ask yep. most everybody, who's the best blocking team in collegiate volleyball? I mean, they couldn't get UCLA out fast enough. Right. Just like the athletic director couldn't get out your hire fast enough. Interestingly, UCLA has only been out blocked in one match this year, and that was Ball State out blocked. They beat them. So UCLA... Uh, with the serve, leading 13 to 10. Long Beach sides out relentlessly. Outside here's nice play by Sullivan. Out of the pipe, Nygaard with the stretchy, and it's gone. Point, 14 to 10, UCLA. Good hustle by Jeffrey Christ. Nice defense by Eric Sullivan setting that up, and Nygaard disdaining the jumper here, just keeping the ball in, relying on his teammates to do some good blocking in the front court. Crowd is up. Game point number one on the way. Nygaard will serve it. Long Beach wiping the floor on the far side. Nygaard uh, apparently will not jump serve. Going to keep it in. So part of UCLA's new serving strategy. Not only the jumper. Go with the floaty here. Out of the line. Hoff blocks. Coming back over. Metzger. Left side to Wall, and he catches it. So Kevin Wong puts it away. UCLA now leads this match two games to one. More coverage on Prime after this. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland. Two games to one. UCLA leading Long Beach State. As the teams prepare for game four, good defense by UCLA really sparked them, Paul. Not taking as many chances with their jump serves, keeping the ball in play, and Eric Sullivan patrolling the backcourt, getting balls off the top of the block. And over, Stein Metzger, who am I going to set here? Tracking it down, goes outside to Kevin Wong, who's been struggling a little bit throughout the course of this match offensively. And if he can really get it going on the left side, scoring points, I think UCLA then becomes unstoppable. You spread the block out and you start going to Neapoli and Nygaard, forget it. Statistically, UCLA big lead in kills. Now, however, Long Beach still leading in the blocking category. But UCLA starting to put some numbers on the board. Uh, Long Beach State was very good in game one uh, where they were victorious with their blocking. Ray Rattel was right. We're not a very good serving <laughs> team. We played. He wasn't kidding. No, he was not kidding. We played uh, three very long games and they have yet to put an ace on the board. UCLA putting up three, but with 15 errors. Ready to get game number 
And Long Beach, uh, who was hanging around an awful lot early, needs to find a solution right now. They got to get back to, uh, you know, siding out, playing. It. They were playing very good defense at the beginning of this match. Jeff Nygaard, UCLA star, the most valuable player in the NCAA last year. He will get ready for attack duty. Steve Walker, the kid from Huntington Beach, California, will serve it up. Played for John Wallace, who's now an assistant at Pepperdine University. Much improved as a setter. We'll talk about his development in this game and how he's improved as a setter. Combination for back set and uh, Eric Sullivan, UCLA's best passer, best digger, puts it away. There's Sullivan. Does a lot of the dirty work for the UCLA squad. More assertive this year, the coaches tell me. That left side, here's Hoff, and off his block. Stein Metzger taking a little chop shot. One to nothing Bruins. UCLA leading this match two games to one. One on one on the outside. This ball kind of in between. You know, Hoff not really sure whether he's going to swing at that thing aggressively, and uh, Metzger all over it. Down the line. Oren Zaslansky gets the blast. And so Zaslansky will serve. He played at San Diego High School, CIF champs uh, back in 89 and 90. He was the most valuable player in the CIF 1991. So he came in with good credentials. And Neapoli hits it out. We're tied at one. Neapoli saying, that's not a bad set for me. I hit it straight down and hard. It was just out by an inch. Hitting error is racking up for UCLA. 30 now for the Bruins. Nice tap Metzger down. Metzger up high. You got to be able to read that, though. Stein Metzger is contacting the ball very high above the net, makes the dump possible. But as a blocker, you got to be right there with him. He can't set the ball from that posture. Metzger's jump serve was very effective in game three. And Nygaard is starting to get the line on Gabby Amar. Watch Jeff Nygaard, hands high the entire time. He's six foot eight, reaches well above the net, just standing on the ground. It's a very quick reaction to get into good blocking position. UCLA two to one. Here comes Chris. Oh, Sparaw with a beautiful one-arm bandit. Mester keeps it in. Walker, left side. Chris, and it's gone. So Chris with his 16th kill. Long Beach gets the ball, trailing two to one. Freshman Gabby Amar to serve. Long Beach one game one, UCLA the next two. This is game four. Live volleyball. And Metzger's back set. Nicely done, going to Sullivan. But remember the X play that we were talking about early on in this match established that now running the reverse of the fake X. Sullivan goes in and hides behind the middle hitter and then bounces back out to the right. Good establish the counter play as well. Low set and thrown out of bounds. Lift called. Trouble there. Three to one UCLA. 26 hitting errors for Long Beach. That's Long Beach's turn to let down a little bit. You know, they had success in game one, and hey, we just beat the best team in the country in game one, and they really haven't played with the same sort of fire since that time. Tom Hall, kill number 22. And now Hoff will serve it. Coaches really like his attitude. Talking to Ray Rattel this morning, he said, I love the way he plays. Competitive, fiery, works hard. Yeah. Just like Paul Neapoli. Side out UCLA. And the Bruins have the ball. Nygaard has gone to the floater. There's Hawk. Getting a lot of sets tonight. Chris, they block him. Metzger to Wong. And Wong puts it in the corner. I'll tell you, John Spira had a great sequence there. Soft block with his inside hand and then really worked hard to get into a threatening position. Comes on the three set and then makes the play possible for Wong on the outside. Four to one UCLA. Long serve just out of bounds. UCLA up two games to one as Long Beach with the serve. And Jeffrey Christ puts it in play. Perfect pass. UCLA play action. Down the line. Long. Nice up. And Nygaard is 
keep it in play. As he should. Walker hits up top. And it's kicked up. Oh, why do they call that play? It's still a collegiate rule yeah. that you cannot play the ball below the waist. But they're going to change that internationally after the 96 Olympics. It will not be a huge factor, but this is spectacular. I mean, it doesn't happen very often, but why take this out? You see at the end of it, the ball rattles through. Metzger leaning out. Yeah. He kicks it up there pretty well. The leg whip. 4-2 our score. Long Beach, good chance here. Off play action. You see like three blockers on it and they couldn't get it. Hey, some other rule changes that are coming in internationally now. You can serve from anywhere behind the back line. I really like that, I like that too. It opens things up and it gives the, the serving a lot more of an advantage to slow down the offense. There's some other changes that will be coming in after the next Olympic game. You are able to block any ball you can reach. In other words, if the ball is passed close to the net, Stein Metzger goes up to set the ball. If you can get to it and stuff it, that's perfectly like legal. That I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I want to see it played that way for a while. But, uh, if you're a good blocker, you like it. If you're absolutely. better, you might not absolutely. like it. Absolutely. If you're seven feet tall, you love it. You become the MVP. But I'd like to see a lot of other rule changes instituted as well. That's going to even out the offense and the defense. Well, that's what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah. I think it will, because you'll have to pass the ball farther, farther away. away from yeah, absolutely. 4-3, UCLA by one. Back set for all. Long Beach State on the attack. Back set. Here comes Hoff. They blocked him. UCLA to Metzger. Metzger puts it away. Oh, he's always looking. Always looking. Seven kills for Stein. And he wouldn't do it this much as a hitter unless he were successful for two reasons. One, I hate to tell him to cut it out. And his other hitters would give him so much stink eye for yep. not setting the ball that he wouldn't do it. So he's obviously hitting the best percentage. Well, there's nothing that makes hitters mad. Er. And the setter who does that a lot and then dumps it into the net half the time. Say, Sullivan that, questioning. That ball was launched halfway to the Bruin Theater, which is about four blocks away, but a touch called against UCLA and side out to Long Beach. Ken Taylor up tonight. Doing a good job. There was just one missed call that I remember, the little tip off the And that block wasn't and really his call to really make. Wasn't. He's got to get some help. It's as far away and as unsighted a play as can possibly happen out here for him to get any help. Walker digs it up. Here comes Haw. No, that wasn't Haw. That was Mendel. Big like Mendel. And Chris crunches it, but it's out of bounds. Boy, nothing uh, lacking in aggressiveness as far as Jeff Christ is concerned. Just missed it cross court, starting to make some unforced errors, but still within striking distance, only one point down to UCLA right now. This is game four, UCLA up two games to one. Back set. Wow. Oh, lazy cover. That might be a weary play by yeah, Hoff. He's gotten a lot of sets both nights. Just could not reach down and get that one. And Nygaard's saying, hey, let's jump in the middle this time. Maybe will set the quick and I'll stuff another one. See if they do it. Well, UCLA serving very easily right now. Into the net. Yeah, I think you're right. I think maybe just running out of gas a little bit. So much a focal point of Long Beach State's offense and uh, very lazy or fatigued cover the play before and then you go back to Hoff and can't clear the tape. Couple points back to back for UCLA. UCLA in command, two games to one and 6-3 here in game four. Back live at Pauley, the championship final of the UCLA Collegiate Classic. UCLA with the lead. Bruins up 6-3 here in game four. Don't forget the Ducks and the Canucks. That will be Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. right here on Prime Sports. And it's El Hockey. Ducks, Canucks playing pucks. Yeah. Pretty good shot by Long Beach State. Long Beach won game one, 15 to 12. UCLA taking the next two. UCLA getting uh, somewhat control here in game four. Bruins starting to serve better, starting to block better. And Long Beach comes back with a block. Yeah. Hoff and Chris. Good timeout by Ray Rattel, recognizing as we did, I think, that Tom Hoff a little bit tired, pulls him aside, says just suck it up a little bit, comes right back out, blocks the ball to get us uh, a little bit closer. UCLA up 2-6-4. Nygaard blocked. Keen on Nygaard. There's a pulling on the play, and they'll have to replay it. One of the balls in the three-ball system got away, and it hit Eric Sullivan on defense. The kid looks that kid looks guilty at me. all on that <laughs> little kid. And he's saying, look, just be ready for it. I'm going to give you the fast one. 
Six to four, Bruins. Neapoli, poked up. Nice play. Hoff, yes. Tom Hoff, Gabby Amar with a hustle play, chasing it down. Just get to the ball, make something possible for your team. Doesn't have to be a perfect set, just something hittable. Tom Hoff making it pick. Six, five now is Long Beach. Starts to come on, Neapoli trips one over. Oh, Neapoli now with 25 kills. Nygaard also with 25. So the one-two punch of UCLA battling Tom Hoff. Hoff with 24 kills. And Christ backing him up with 16. UCLA on top by one. Metzger. Set left Set. side, Chris, and Chris pounds it off the block. You know, you think there needs to be so much precision with respect to play action and the combination plays out of the middle, but a really good, accurate, in rhythm, good location, trajectory to the outside. Very difficult, very important to your offense. UCLA out of blocking alignment that time. Step left, Neapoli blocked. Metzger, back one, tipping. Oh, and beats the score point right here. Hawk, back set, Chris, oh yeah! Chris with the extra crispy going by. Wow. Against three big UCLA blockers. Tom Hoff taking the setting chores in his hands. And the 6-6. Six, six. Long Beach has tied it up. A throw, double contact. And Long Beach has taken the lead. So game four turning it around on Al Skates. He's forced to call timeout. And so will we. Game four, Long Beach State hanging in and leading by one. UCLA lost game one, won the next two. Bruins had a lead moments ago in game four, but Long Beach State with three unanswered points now leads it seven to six. Jeff Nygaard expecting to get set here. 25 kills, seven blocks. But Long Beach has been tough to handle tonight. Close competitive match all the way. Lots of side yeah. Nygaard did get set, and Hoff was there. Hey, Long Beach in the doldrums for a while. They were at low tide for a period of time, but coming back, UCLA again, an uninspired performance. Came up flat, dawdled around, came back one game, too, but thought they had this match wrapped up, quite frankly. I think came right back out this game pretty flat. UCLA took two weeks off to get its athletes uh, taking their finals. And so uh, maybe UCLA's conditioning will come into play. Practice was optional. And you know when you're taking finals, you're not going to practice too hard. Eight to six, Long Beach with the lead. Back set over to Hoff, and Hoff has his second win. Hoff fourth in the NCAA in kill average at 7.25. The leader, Jose Estrada, for Rutgers Newell at eight kills a game. Awesome numbers. The outside and the ball dug up. Sparag goes and gets it. Set here, Neapoli coming at you. Poked up over to Hoff. Set to Wong. He's got two on him and he backs it way out of bounds. And Wong saying it hit him in the head. I don't think so. It looked like it hit the top of the net. It looked like it hit the, from here. I, I agree with you. It looked like it hit the top of the tape. Here's Wong. He's aiming to hit the ball out of bounds. Maybe it did. Steve Walker trying to get his face, his head, everything else out of the way. And maybe did get a piece of him. Missed him by a hair. Does that serve out of bounds? 9-6. Six. Six. When you're in trouble like this, trying to make anything happen, but don't aim out of bounds. And Kevin Wong might have an argument yeah. there. Looked like it uh, took a little second hop there. File a motion and get a decree, right? No, please not. Six, serving nine, Nygaard is back to the jump serve. Walker's giving the signals what they're going to do. Of course, you know from the beach that one is taking line. I don't know what you take on Tom Hall. He has uh, got another kill, 26. I think he's gotten his second wind a little bit. UCLA uh, goes down and loses game four. You wonder what he's got left for game five. That'll be a real test. Christ with the stir. Long Beach trying to tie it up at two all. Here comes the guard. And I believe a Long Beach State blocker. To no, no, no. Ball on once again. Ah. I mean, it's not the kid's fault. You got Another a bunch of volunteer ball. kids out here doing yeah. the best they possibly can. And uh, a couple of balls have rolled on. 
9-6, game four. Metzger back set. Remember, Neapoli was a middle hitter last year, and he is very adept at hitting the quick. He gets up so high. Wong, nice play. Tough serve. That one has a tough drop in for Wong. Barely great. getting over the top of the net and then just dropping straight down. That ball got airbrushed over. That was going right into the bottom of the net and suddenly it got a little boosty. 9-7 now. Seven serving nine. See if Long Beach goes back to home. He's been the hot man, number nine in black. Coming around the horn. Nope. Give it to you. Des Lansky and Long Beach. Wow. Terrible play by UCLA. Yeah, Metzger. That ball was not passed high enough above the tape for him really to be a threat there. And uh, not a great choice, particularly off a good dig from uh, Jeff Nygaard. Serving is Mendel. Good set. And Long Beach got him out. Shout out UCLA. So Kevin Wong, let's check his numbers. He's starting to come alive just a bit. He has nine kills. There is Mr. Wong. Here comes the jumper. Good one. Tight to the net. And give credit to Metzger on that. He gave a great pump fake. Well, for staying down, the pump fake and Steve Walker was looking for hands to hit off of. We've seen him do that effectively a couple of times earlier in the match. But no place to go that time. UCLA within one. Wong again. It's another tight one. Wow. Walker just jammed that quarterback sneak. Absolutely. <laughs> and he has that football mentality of let's jam it, baby. Say, you wonder why UCLA doesn't serve the jumper more often. They're getting Long Beach in trouble time uh -huh. and time again. Don't score that time, but certainly had an opportunity. Walker with the serve, 9-8 Long Beach. Here comes Holly rejected. And Oren Zaslensky, the junior from Encinitas. Encinitas doing the war loop. Good set to the outside. This is good blocking. 35th hitting error for UCLA. It's going to be an... Oh, what happened there? It's going. Metzger thought he got it. Are they putting it down? Okay, it's down. down. Absolutely. Ball passed straight over the top of the net. Boy, that was Gabby Amar and Tom Hoffer all over this. <laughs> fighting over it and ends up falling down on their Again. side. Great play by Metzger. He faked everybody out. And Jaslansky whooping it. And he's going to get a yellow card. Let him play. Wow. He's hitting 378, and he's just saying, I'm celebrating a little. Come on. So a yellow card awarded to Zaslansky. In case he gets another one, we'll keep that in mind. A la Bobby Samuelson. Samuelson no longer on the national team. He's playing in Japan for a huge limit offer, 150 grand. Will that be a big loss to the USA national team not having Samuelson for the 96 Olympics? Well, I don't think so because, for one thing, Bob wasn't happy on the national team any longer. He wasn't happy with his role. He wasn't getting the kind of playing time that he expected. And, uh, you know, money becomes a big factor. Yeah. It flies long in UCLA now within one. Course, 10 9. Bob Samuelson in Japan, of course, during that uh, recently uh, tragic earthquake. Yeah. And uh, called actually a radio station in the United States to let everybody know that he was okay and actually filed a report from there. Hoff is dug. UCLA can tie it up right here. They'll set left to Neil Polly. And Zaslansky over to Chris. Did he get it over? No. Good try. Long Beach State has played a couple of good matches back-to-back -back in this the UCLA Classic. Over the top, Zeslansky down, back up, stretches out, does exactly what he's supposed to, pops this ball straight up in the air. Long Beach just can't quite finish it. Hawk thumps one through. We're tied at 10. Two games to one, UCLA leading in a marathon. Four-game match. Started this match at 7.30. Actually, about 7.35, it's now 10 minutes to 10. These matches are going. Over left side, little dink. Neapoli, Spira, was it under or over? I think it went under the net. 
Well, they called it out of bounds. Maybe it hit the antenna. antenna. The antennas mark the sidelines out of bounds. The ball contacts the net outside the sideline antenna. And play stops. And Neapoli hadn't been stopped much all night long. I don't know why he's dinking right here. And that was the play. See Neapoli's yeah. second attempt outside the antenna. Good call. Good call, Paul. Thank you. Silly dinking up a storm. It's 11 to 10 Long Beach. They'll set it to Chris. Dug up Spira, Neapoli, Wham on Doug. And Hoff. Hoff cuts the net. Wow, he was up flying, ready to jam up. And he got the net. Uh, an interesting meeting of body and minds between Jeff Nygaard and Tom Hoff. He thought someone was going to be there. Absolutely. I'm talking about Hoff, and there wasn't anybody there. And serving 11. Ball spike. Was there a touch? No. 11 all. UCLA making some hay with short serving here, mixed in with some good jumpers, deep floaters. And timeout taken by Ray Rattel and Long Beach. Of course, Ray Rattel and his number one assistant there, Mike D'Alessandro. D'Alessandro responsible for a lot of the improvement for Steve Walker, the setting responsibilities and setting up the offense. Once a very fine setter, you see D'Alessandro back to you right there giving instructions. Really a key assistant for Long Beach State. Well, it's a team effort all the way from top to bottom. Ray Rattel runs the program, but you know, you got to work with different players at different positions. You know, on the national team, Doug Beal worked with, you know, the setters and the outside hitters. And you broke it down and and there you see assistant coach talking to his protege on the outside he's talking about okay look if, if so and so passes here you go with this combination play in this rotation this play is available these are the blockers that are positioned against us and their tendencies what's Jeff Nygaard been doing on the quick set needless to say Long Beach State needs a timeout here a side out I should say they're taking the timeout right now you know we talked about Walker being a feisty player well there was never <laughs> a more feisty player than Mike D'Alessandro he is competitive of nature sometimes getting him in trouble as a uh, volleyball player at Long Beach State and in AAU volleyball but uh, he brings a certain fire to Long Beach State he and uh, head coach Ray Rattel they are into it yeah I would I would think that if there was a time when Long Beach State came out flat and not necessarily competitive they would hear about it yeah so Ray Rattel and Mike D'Alessandro the team and 11 all Situation with UCLA, game four, UCLA leading two games to one. Down the line, Metzger tattooed by Jeffrey Chris. I'm Chris Marlowe, my partner Paul Sunderland. We're going all the way tonight, live volleyball. Finals of the UCLA Collegiate Classic. <laughs> There's Tom Hoff, will serve it. Metzger, and Neapoli puts it away. 30 kills for Neapoli. I believe that ties his career high. So Neapoli going for his big match on his next kill. Walker into the middle, rejected. Nice play by Wong. Kevin Wong getting involved, giving up the D zone to Tom Hoff. Getting on Gabby Amar out of the quick set in the middle. Wasn't Amar that time. Men UCLA by one, needing three to close it out. Walker to Chris. Off to Chris, watch the cross court. Rejected. Neapoli and Spira. UCLA. I tell you, I was watching the ball, kids, because right about right now, there was a ball rolling right under the feet of the long... See the ball girl's head coming yep. out of the way right there? Very distracting. Substitution, number 15, Ryan Mariano coming in, freshman from El Toro. Ray Rattel trying to slow it down as UCLA just two points away from its 12th Collegiate Volleyball Classic Championship. Pretty good pass off the net. Here comes Hoff, and Hoff does it again. Tom Hoff, 28 kills, as good as advertised. Chris will serve. So Chris will put the ball in play. Metzger set left, Wong, oh, Metzger loves to set Wong, doesn't he? He sets him a lot on the left. That kept Wong looking for the touch, 
Eddie Frierson in the corner saying touch. And he's going, going to talk to, about it. Going to come over and talk about it. Okay, this is the same guy who can't call one right And here. let's see how Ken Taylor plays it. Look at him, he's got a personal problem. He's, he's, he's asking Marvin Hall to come over. And here comes another sidebar. See, I, I did not see a touch. I didn't either. I thought it was clearly over the top of the block and out of bounds. And they're going to call wow. it back. Wow, that's a big call. Ball seeming to take off into the corner. Let's see if we can see it. No. Do you see anything there? <laughs> I mean, too fast. It might have got Hoff on the way out. Let's see. Watch for number nine in black in the backcourt. Nine in black. Oh, God, the ball's going too fast. It might have clipped Hoff. Hoff was saying no. 13-11, Tron win is in. Jumper. Perfect pass. Play action. Down the hatch. Neil Mendel. Ninth kill for Mendel. Paul Diapoli back in the game. Also at the game to work is Gabby Marr. Plays Brian Marner. Walker. And Amar. As Mariana goes out, 13 to 11, UCLA. Wong wins it. Down the line. Good hit by Kevin Wong. Set out UCLA. Okay, you get a quality hitter, or just a good hitter, one on one. You're going to have a lot of success. Good choice that time by Stein Metzger. Now Wong contemplating his jumper. Ball at the 10-foot line, set left, Chris, and it is going on. So now, here we go. First chance for UCLA at championship point. The 36th hitting error for the beach. Wong set for takeoff. Al Skates, one point away. And he's into the net. Paul Sunderland packing up his materials, getting ready for the getaway to Pensacola. And a yellow, another yellow card awarded to Long Beach. Ken Taylor getting that out. Seventh yellow card in this game. Three for UCLA, four for Long Beach. So Ken Taylor has been busy. Yellow card assessment number 13 of Long Beach. 11 serving 14. Get up! 12 serving 14. Got to put that ball away. Metzger was there to deflect it, and Nia Polly with a drive. Boy, that's a huge opportunity by the board. Off the rebound pass, Steve Walker knows it. Long Beach should have been able to close it to two. UCLA looking to close it out and win its 31st straight. He's out! Home match, Nygaard is into the front line. Oh, and Hoff buries it past Nygaard. Wow, looking cross-court, thinking cross-court. Nygaard could not get to it. Zaslansky serving. Zaslansky serving. Perfect pass, back set here to Sullivan, and Sullivan whacking hot. Quietly, Sullivan has had a very good volleyball match. Sullivan says, get up. Get up. Go to your window and shout UCLA, third match point. Overhand, give it to Chris. Goodbye. And that will do it. The UCLA winning its 12th UCLA Collegiate Volleyball Classic. The Bruins run their record to 22-1. Good effort by Ray Rattel's Long Beach State squad. The beach falls to 17-8. and eight. So the Bruins win it. Three games to one, and we'll have a little more for you from UCLA's Poly Pavilion as the Bruins defeat the 49ers three games to one. UCLA wins the Collegiate Volleyball Classic. The Bruins defeating the Long Beach State 49ers three games to one. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland. We only have a few seconds. Your impression of the tournament? An up-and-down match. Good tournament. Again, from what we talked about at the beginning of the match, the format very much the same as the uh, final four. got to beat two good teams in order to win the championship. I think the effect of UCLA taking time off 
four finals really affected their play. Long Beach State has got to come out of this with some confidence, thinking that they can compete against the best teams in the country, and hopefully they can get to the Final Four. Paul Neapoli named the tournament MVP. I'm sorry, we've got to go to Pensacola, Florida. We're going to be on the beach. We're catching the flight right now for Paul Sunderland. I'm Chris Marlowe. So long from UCLA's Pauley Pavilion, where the Bruins have done it again. They have won their 12th UCLA Collegiate Volleyball Classic. So long, everybody.